guys. Um, so yes, just me and Melon showed up. You know, it's hard to get everyone together. We're just figuring out what we're doing. That's why we started this very easy one first, except for those of you who've never been on Tez. So I'm gonna show you what we did. So this is her collection. As you can see, she's an amazing artist. She just got offered a one woman show in Austin. She put her work out there at a super low price because she just, you know, as when we're new, you know, it's what we do sometimes. So um, she has a lot of additions, you know, which is makes it also for her low price, but also she's burning some, which will make it even easier to buy her out. Um, so, what I did, I own every one of her pieces, except for this first one. One of her friends just today, like put this on the market for 40. It was probably originally 0.5. I put this one on for 35. Let me show you. Details, this is on object. So even if something's on Tahia or it's a knock, whatever, you can find it on object. It's the, for me, it's way, way easier to use this than all the other platforms. All right, so I own one. I think I'm gonna regret listing it for 35, but anyway, 35. So I'm the one who listed it. Say I was the last one to buy it. You go to here, you put actions, you list it one, and I could put whatever I want. You can also raise or lower the price. It only costs like a few pennies to do the transaction. So this one today, I just bought the last one. And I'm the one who put it up for 20 Tezos. It costed 0.56. This is an amazing piece. Um, if you don't know her work, watch my other videos. I've like featured her a few times. So you can see here's me NFT Eve. I, I listed one at 20 and one at 35. I actually own nine of these. I'm a good investor, you guys. That's why I'm turning you on to this. I made a lot of money in crypto. I'm a hidden gin hunter. So um I haven't say I mean I haven't made tons of money in NFTs because I haven't really I've only been collecting and I haven't been reselling I'm just getting into that now but this is one of our strategies we'll find we'll feature one artist and then we'll all buy it out of course not every artist is accessible to every collector nobody's obligated to buy anything this is just if you want to so look I've bought nine of these pieces at like 0.56 tes and now I put it up for 20 which the only reason I put it at such a low price is that I wanted to resell in order to help her. I don't really need that money right now. I'd rather wait and sell for a higher price later. That's why I buy more than one, save some to sell at a higher price later, which I've also done with Rock of AJ. I put one of yours on sale today. I'm gonna hold on to the other ones because I'm pretty sure you're gonna blow up too. Um, so it's better if we resell for each other. That's a better strategy, but you know, we each do what we want. So what you need to do for this project is go through, you can find one you like, or you can find ones that are almost sold out. Um, there's kind of a lot of editions of them, but say this one's 0.56, right? Owners, I own four. How many are left? Okay, there's only six left. So that's six times, you know, it's only $20 worth on here. So I'm gonna buy one more. This is actually a really good one. It's a little painful because she's looking in the mirror, you know, with the changes in her body. She works a lot with body positivity, being a mom, um, you know, what it's like to be this hot babe, you know, dancer with money. And then, you know, anyway, this is what her work is about. She's gonna blow. I mean, she, she has a message for the world. And as you can see, her work is very branded. She does the same thing in the same way. like. It's, it's has all of the qualities of somebody that's gonna really blow up. So I'm gonna buy another one. So then you could buy like, if say if you're AJ or, or whoever is watching this video, one strategy you could do is just to buy the rest of them. I mean, I'm still buying her work because I, I think it's a huge and great investment. So there is only going to be five less. So five times like a dollar or something. It's only going to be like something like three Tezos or something. Um, 
so we have videos of her. We're still featuring her until she sells out. We're still figuring out what are our shit. I think I totally forgot to record. Oh no, I did record. Okay, good. Um, you know, we're gonna have different strategies and we will still be focused on her because one, even if we weren't in the club, it would be a very good investment. She's somebody, she's getting a lot of attention. She's very good with her social media. She's on TikTok. She pretty ha much has everything she needs to get success except for visibility and the fact that she deals with postpartum motherhood. Like it's not something that's everyone's just gonna like go crazy over. But, but what she is doing something that's not done in the whole art world. I don't know anyone talking about this. Her works are so cute and lovely. I love this depression one. I think it's going to be one of the like top ones. I own four. There's 11 left. Um, so what, what you can do is you can just buy the ones that are a low price. Or you can buy the ones that you like. You can buy her out. Or you can just wait. I mean, we don't have to do everything today. Um, we are forming our strategies we're getting big, people are joining the club, collectors are joining the club. So very easily, what's very likely to happen um, in the next week or two or month, or however long it takes, probably pretty quick. Because I'm getting pretty, uh, I'm getting pretty popular out there. It's Twitter. Um, you know, a lot of people are really listening to me and um, want to join the club, a lot of collectors. So one collector could come by out this whole um, collection easily you know, and that's very likely to happen. So you don't have to buy out her pieces. I mean, I think it would be smart to maybe get this, this one, because there's only like five left after that, after sometimes with this, you know, it takes a little while to register. I love the smoke one. And you haven't seen this, but these are all real life paintings that are going to be in a show. She was saying she was going to give away one as utility, but I don't think she should because she doesn't know how great she is and how much she's going to blow up. Mm, let's see, I love this one. So maybe now just try to either, that's a strategy, you can either just try to buy a few of the, oh look, this one's up for 50 tests, somebody did it. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm very excited. Somebody put this up for 50. So I don't know if it was her, so we can look down at the listings, we, maybe it was me. Oh, it was me, oops. Um, <laughs> okay, this is like a huge masterpiece of art. It's not gonna appeal to everyone because it is not a, a sexy uh, lady with a flat stomach. You know, this is real life, but this is why it's really valuable because her expression, her gestures, her way of drawing the figure, her facial expressions with this simple cartoon are mind blowing. Okay, so we got one for 50. Okay, this it's already going, you know, just, all of her pieces before I put this one up for 35 were all 0.15 Tez at the most. So now it's already happening because also we're putting the video out of her. We're inviting everyone is welcome to come by up the pieces. It's just people in the club are ones we're going to feature each other and help each other out special. But anyone, of course, is welcome to come by. Okay, this one got put up for 10. Did I do that too? If I did, I'm going to be upset. Oh, good. It wasn't me. I was like, I'm going to be upset if I don't remember doing two. So let's see how many of these I own. I own, I'm going to put one up too for sale. I'm going to put it up for a lot more. So that's good. If you can put it up for like 10, that's going to help her because it's very accessible to a lot of people. But I'm going to put mine up for 50 because why not? I think she's really going to blow up, especially after August when she has her show, um, especially when she gets, she's going to get featured on some kind of magazines. I mean, this is how art careers work. If you, are not aware, I am aware, I have a master's degree, I've shown in museums, art gallery. So I kind of know how it's going. So I'm putting this one up for her for 50. So whoever comes is gonna buy the one for 10 first, but maybe they're desperate and they wanna buy mine too. You know, to a collector, 50 Tezos is only, it's only $150, which is really nothing for an NFT. Even though, as you can see, how many are in the collection? 20. It's a collection of 20. So it's not a one of one, but still, you know, $150 is nothing for 
this artist who is totally blowing up. Oh my gosh, it's really working. I'm so happy. So since I don't know who put that one up, so I don't know if it's somebody from the club or somebody who's watching the videos, because I'm putting this video public, anyone can see what we're doing. We want people to join, we want people to join the club and also to you know show us other strategies. So what you can do too, if you have work on Tezos, you can you can um, DM uh, Malin and say, hey, you know, I'm gonna buy out, you know, 10 of your pieces, we buy out 10 of my pieces. And you could just do it one on one just to see if the other person is trustworthy. I'm a little, I'm that type of person, very pragmatic and not that trusting. So, you know, you can buy one and then I can buy one of yours. Or say if your piece is like three Tez, you know, you could buy two of hers, she buys one of yours. <clears throat> So that you're actually not spending any money <coughs> because you're oh my god these flowers crazy um because you're getting it back exactly in your wallet at the same time so these are marketing strategies that we're using a lot of these um, really successful people it's what they're doing because it's how they roll okay i'm very excited about this because already she's up she has ones for 35 20 50 and 10. And three days ago, she had all of them, only one that I put up for 35. So very excited. You can get the ones you like also. I really like them all, you know, everyone's. I think this depression one is amazing, Mask of Strength. I like the smoke, I love the umbrella. A lot of people like Superhuman. I actually love them all. Black Hole of Depression. You have to see them. They're all videos for process is cool. And these are all photos from paintings that she takes. She loves this one. I love me. You can read her awesome stories. How many of these I own? This one's not as much owned. I'm going to hang up because people doesn't actually really like to listen to me for too long. Cry it out. That is just beautiful. I mean, I love crying. I have crying videos too. So there's 16 left. I own one, or maybe I should own two. I'm gonna buy one. I feel bad if I only own one. Cause I, I actually will keep some for longer because, you know, we'll see what she's doing. If she's still making art in three or four years, it's gonna be really super valuable. And what people doesn't realize we're in a bear market, we're in a worldwide financial crisis, you know? So people are not blowing money, but once, if you've ever been in any crypto bull runs, like all of a sudden you just have so much money or spending it everywhere. Look at her crying. That is so beautiful. I'm sorry. I just love this. I just love it. I think women are contributing um, their tears, their softness, their their emotions to the world. And it's, it's so healing. So healing. All right. That's all I have to say. Smash the like, subscribe to my channel. Join the club, buy out Melon Blossom's work if you choose to. I think we can only make money at this. While we're helping her, we're actually going to make quite a lot of money. And I've attracted a lot of very good one-on-one -on -one artists because you know, that's sort of my field. So we're going to get a lot of collectors who are very interested in one-on-ones. Maybe right now in the in the crypto space, I mean, the NFT space is not huge one-on-one -on -one collectors. You know, everybody's on foundation, but people are going to be hunting these gems more and more because, you know, everything that she's put into this, you can't just, it is very unique. I mean, no one can, can copy her work ever. And if they do, it, it won't have the same gesture. It won't have the same feeling. It won't have the same level of her story that goes with it. Like, anyway, I'm always gushing about Melon because I love her. I love so many artists and, um, Let's just buy her out. And so now you understand how it works. You put it up, list it. We can do auctions later. I don't even know how that works. But once we get a lot of people in the club and a lot of collectors, we can do more stuff. Please let me know how you can help me because it's just one person and I can't do everything and I don't even know everything and I don't have all of the, you know, I don't have all of the strategies. I don't have an MBA. Okay, that's it. Smash the likes, put comments below, like which one you bought or whatever you think. I think it's also good, which I haven't been doing at all, is to put it up 
make a tweet about it. Hey, just bought this melon blossom because what you're doing with that, you're promoting her, you're promoting your own bags. Like what we're doing in the space, why it's so genius. It's like we're, we're buying her and then we're promoting her we're enriching ourselves because that's raising the value of our work. It's raising the value of her. So that's why we're going to band together, do this for each other and make each other blow up. I'm super busy right now, so I'm not going to tweet it, but I think I will start tweeting regularly about the works that I bought of hers. And it would be great if everybody did too. You know, the more you contribute, the more you put in, you know, we're going to see, you know, who's doing what and you know you're always going to get some kind of extra special treatment you know the harder the more you're working and helping and whatnot so um you know it's just, just how things are in life you know ttyl ciao